We are told there are neo-Nazis lurking under every New Zealand bed, openly having rallies in obscure Auckland parks even. It's time we took the fight to them, at least they establish a breeding population, and bash a fascist. I mean, they were the most evil regime in history, ran concentration camps, enslaved millions, didn't much care about the sovereignty and free speech, invaded weaker nations. We don't want to see them set their tent up again. There's one slight problem. They no longer go about in distinctive Hugo Bosch uniforms, operate panzer tanks and fly over cities in Heinkels. How do we identify a genuine Nazi from, say, a garden variety feminist? We don't want to bash or confront the wrong person, now do we? Kill them even, as some openly state, is their objective. Luckily for us, the genuine Nazis were legends when it came to record keeping. We know today exactly how to spot a Nazi in our midst. Their characteristics are well covered in a veritable library of books, which tell us unequivocally the Nazis loved their dogs. Every second photo, there's a horned lurking. It was the Nazis that pioneered animal rights laws, imprisoned offenders found guilty of animal cruelty. Thank God we operate a register of dog owners in New Zealand. Know exactly who you are. By the way, I'm sure you've noticed how dog walkers seamlessly always seem to start a conversation with other dog walkers. That's because... They are clandestinely making contact with other local Nazis. It's too dangerous these days to go out onto the net, or thanks to the downstream of the Christchurch call. Kindly note, cats are a gateway pet fascism. History's most famous advocate for not chomping into a porterhouse, the chap on your screen. Guilt by association is no defence either. If God didn't want us to eat animals, he or she wouldn't have made them out of meat. You smug drivers of VWs, Mercs and BMWs may as well be hanging a neat pair of swastika flags from the front. 100% of Nazis drove German motors. Find athletic looking blondes attractive? That's not biological. You only think that way because your subconscious is manifesting Nazi ideals, indoctrinated by the patriarchy into favouring the chick on the right, not the one with the five o'clock shadow. Beethoven, Wagner and Strauss, your cup of tea? Nazi pig dog. Bet you like Ramstein as well. Blue eyes. The Nazis were really big on them. Immensely popular. Got a pair? You have three options. Brown contacts. Wear sunglasses in public. Or poke them out. A subtle giveaway. They may well not be wearing a uniform nowadays. Apple strudel will still be going down their craws. I'd rather eat a lump of asbestos. Do the neighbours over the back fence have four or more children? A pair of European extraction. Asians and Pacific Islanders don't count, by the way. Married, not shacked up. Has a wife and mother who remains around the house all day looking after the kids. Not dumping them off at daycare and at school before tearing off to work. Odds are they have a bunker in their backyard. Own a dog. Have a substantive vegetable garden as well. Spit on them. Major red flag with a squiggly cross flying overhead. And those who occupy lord the beauty pertaining to Gothic and neoclassical architecture all need a tickle up. The neo and the name being a bit of a giveaway for starters. Albert Speer may as well have designed this building. I'm sure by now you're getting into the swing of things. Can now spot a New Zealand Nazi from 100 metres. Made arrangements to euthanise the dog. Listed your V-dub on Trade Me. Will now be confident of passing the test at the end. 
not starting a fight with the wrong person, certainly because you were a bit vague on what the Nazis got up to 90 years ago. Before we get there, there's three more characteristics to beware of. Markers, Reich marks. Look at these disgusting photos of the youth in Nazi Germany pursuing the outdated ideals of athleticism and teamwork. Going outdoors, yuck! Couldn't they afford playstations for their kinder? Didn't parents want them to stay inside in their bedrooms all weekend? Running and throwing discuses and, you know, jumping around with medicine balls when you could be on Instagram? What's that about? Luckily for New Zealand, we have the third highest rate of childhood obesity in the Western world. Let's not settle till we get to number one. Pulling out of the Olympics is a sure sign to the world. We are purging ourselves of the black-vested Nazis in our midst, giving them McDonald's vouchers instead. Fairly self-explanatory. History teaches us men gathering in beer halls started the ball rolling. As opposed to brown shoes, debatable which is worse. Both are befitting of a custodial sentence, coupled with the annoying fashion faux pas of having their trousers up high around their bellies. 100% the actions of a Nazi. Now to the test. There are five questions. I know you're dying to undertake it. Helpful warning. Best you do it on your lonesome. Frage eins. Question one. Let's start off with an easy one. Given a choice between a sculling a glass of apple cider vinegar or drinking a bottle of Fanta, you would choose A or B? The non-Nazis amongst you would have happily downed the cider with gusto and with no grimace, Fanta being the creation of the German franchise of Coke during World War II. Two is fairly straightforward. You would prefer New Zealand to continue to operate a third world roading system rather than adopting a swish two-lane autobahn. Correct. It's better to senselessly continue to lose all those lives on our dire roads, bump over potholes, and then adopt anything from Nazi Germany. Number three. New Zealand's policy of becoming a smoke-free nation is the right one. Yes, pick A. No, pick B. What? Who the hell would pick A? It was the Nazi regime, after all, that was the first to formulate a countrywide ban. Men can give birth. Yes or no? Here's a clue. 2 plus 2 equals 5. Last question. I told you, didn't I? You had to get all five right. Which one of these three regimes killed more people in the pursuit of their aims? A, B or C? The Nazis, of course. C was correct. Seriously, no one these days remembers what the communist Stalin and Mao got up to. Gets worked up, there's a communist party of Aotearoa. People prefer a good story to facts. Hope I've been able to clarify what the Nazis got up to. 
so that when you look at the scene from an Auckland park, you can immediately identify the Nazi undertaking a run. He'll probably meet up with his mates in the pub later on. No, these two who are passing each other are also passing a message about a U-boat lurking in the Bay of Islands, going to meet up at a vegetarian restaurant later that evening, wash down the meal with a large bottle of Fanta. Not too sure I shall be leaving you this money-saving tip on your screen after you failed that quiz so miserably. Up next, the closest the real Nazis have got to landing on New Zealand's soil. No, it wasn't Albert Park. Bisbolt, shoes. Bye for now.